lots and lots to talk about today. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo has put in a transfer request. He wants to leave Juventus. Yeah, we have lots and lots to talk about. The Premier League is back. Week 3, Chelsea versus Liverpool. That's a big, big one. Van Dijk versus Lukaku. And thirdly, we're going to be talking about Ives Bisuma and all that. Lots and lots to talk about today. So I know we are all busy and we have lots of things to do, but let me not waste more, uh, more of your time. So let's dive into it. Let's talk about Cristiano Ronaldo leaving Juventus. Who thought this, that Ronaldo is going to be leaving Juventus after three seasons? He's had lots to do with Juventus and we know before or previously when Max when Allegri left, that's the coach of Juventus, he didn't want Ronaldo in the team because he wants his team to always press. And now when he came back, everybody felt that it's either Ronaldo leave or he, he leaves. Now he's back and Ronaldo has to leave. So it's been boring on, on Ronaldo uh, came in. He was on the bench, the last on the uh, sitting on the bench, the last game, and he came in and played as a substitute. And we all know Cristiano Ronaldo; he doesn't play as a substitute, guys. We know that. So he put in a transfer request days ago, and Manchester City have been the uh, the front runner of this. That they, they want to sign him, and Ronaldo. We all know he's a legend of Manchester United. So. There's a lot of updates about this. So Manchester United couldn't sit back without going into, uh, getting into this. So the coach of Manchester United, which is Soskia, had a press conference today. And one of the journalists asked him, what do you think about Ronaldo going to Manchester City? And he said openly, he said, uh, we all know Ronaldo is a legend of Manchester United. And we, have, uh, we, we know if he's leaving Juventus, we are always here. Guys, that's a big, big update for a manager to talk about a player for, of another club, club. Despite he is a legend of Manchester United. So we know Manchester United are in this. So because it's very, very difficult or it will look at, it will look in a different way if Ronaldo leaves and plays for Manchester United rivals, which is Manchester City. It will kind of show like Manchester United are like a small club. We know City have been doing well and they have been the domina dominant club in England for the past decade because they have won, I think, five or six Premier League titles. Chelsea is coming second. Yeah, since uh, Sir Alex Ferguson left, Manchester United have not really been in the running for the Premier League title since. Yeah, so, but United are trying to catch up with the squad they are building. So this is an opportunity for them to hit one against their rivals that no, you can't get our legend. He is coming back to us. So lots, lots to go in there with, the, with I think five days to go to the transfer market, and Soskia said uh, Manchester United uh, are willing to talk to Ronaldo, and he even made mention of Bruno Fernandes, which uh, was a teammate of Ronaldo in Portugal, who has been talking to uh, Ronaldo. That uh, he said uh, basically that uh, Bruno Fernandes has been talking to Ronaldo to convince him to join Manchester United. So, but that was a hint he gave there and everybody knows that uh, United loves Ronaldo and don't want Ronaldo to come back. So, when if he is ready and willing to come back, they will, uh, they will be willing to receive him. So, guys, that's the update from Soskia and Romano also said it himself that uh, two days ago that Manchester City and United were the front runner and now United has joined in and so United is pushing more hard to sign him so guys if Ronaldo signs for Manchester United they are going to have a very good attack because we know they have been they are looking at the striking options the strikers are a little bit misfiring at the moment Rashford is out injured Marshall it's he's just coming back from injury so he's going to take a time time of course those are not the level we are talking about one of the best players in history coming to your club so if he comes and it's available you have the right to grab him because he's going to guarantee you let's say 25 or 30 goals in the premier league yeah that's who ronaldo is and city signing ronaldo i think it's just for like uh, advertise uh, like advertisement or selling sales of shares because when i look at ronaldo i don't think he fits the present style of manchester city also because city wants to have the ball always and they want all their players to press win the ball back then and play so there's no single player that you play for him so I, I think Ronaldo going to Manchester City he has to be very careful there because 
it might not work out with him because Guardiola wants all his his players to press. So except he, he wants to change his style, and I don't think Pep is going to ever change his style for a single player, because even when he was at Barcelona, the likes of Messi, everyone pressed, they win the ball, and no one is afforded uh, freedom that uh, to to play anywhere he wants. He stick to your position, play, and it's a team sport. It's a team game. So that's how the likes of Guardiola likes to play. So Ronaldo actually is for me. It's like a mismatch. But guys, uh, comment, leave a comment below on what you think about that. Then next we go to Liverpool. Uh, Liverpool versus Chelsea. We have a big game in the Premier League today. Uh, t uh tomorrow. That starts at seven thirty. Uh, uh, European time. R Romelu Lukaku versus Virgil Van Dijk. Now we all know Van Dijk has been out for so long. He's been out for nine years. Uh, for nine months. That's uh a complete season. So this game has, I feel it has come so much, a little bit quicker for him. I thought he could have like 10 to 15 games. Then this game comes on. Then, then he must have been getting much fit. But this game for me is a little bit early. But uh, well, that's football for you. You have to always be prepared and ready. So Van Dijk has to prove his fitness against one of the best strikers in the league, Romolo Lukaku. So Lukaku, I think, will be up for the challenge because he said, he is ready to kick on in the Premier League that he was not mature the previous time when he was in the Premier League and now he is mature so the opening his uh, his first game uh, last week I think he, 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 he bullied Arsenal and guys we saw that he, um, Arsenal were no match for Chelsea so this is going to be uh, this is really really going to be a tougher test for Chelsea because Liverpool is one of the contenders of the Premier League so there is much up everywhere in the field you have Thiago Henderson against uh uh, Kante and the rest. You have uh, Virgil Van Dijk against Lukaku. You have Menzi, which was just won the UEFA best goalkeeper of the year against uh, the former best goalkeeper of the world, which is Alison Becker. So, guys, there's much up everywhere. This is a good game to watch in the Premier League. So there's uh, there's going to be really really battle all over the pitch. And lastly, we go to this player. I don't uh, think I don't know why he doesn't get. A lot of uh, recognition uh, probably is it because maybe for the country he, he comes from guys sorry guys yeah i don't know if it's the country he comes uh, he comes from uh he comes from Guinea. That, that's Ives bisuma Ives bisuma is top top defensive midfielder great with the ball at his feet he can get the ball off the back four spread it to the uh forward players and the play so this player, I think he suits Manchester United. So lots of fans have been asking. That they don't know why Manchester United has not been going out after this player. He's good with the back uh, to goal. He can get the ball. He can spread it wide. And he can receive the ball in press situation. He's almost like a press assistant. What I mean by, by press assistant is if you press him, he can come out of, out of the solution. So... I think the, uh, in the next two to three years, he's going to be a top, top defensive midfielder, one of the best in the world because he's really excelling in a team that, uh, like a small team with respect to the other big teams, uh, the top six teams in England. And he is still, when he plays against the big boys, you see him dominating the big boys. I can, I can remember the game uh, at Old Trafford, uh, Bruno Fernandes versus, he was playing against Bruno Fernandes and he got him on toast. So... He's a very good defensive midfielder. So, if your club, uh, if you're supporting any club and he gets him, then uh, you know you have a very good player on your hand because he's good in position and out of position. He reads the play very well. It's similar like a Michael Carrick, but he Michael Carrick never moved around so much, but he read the play. But this he moves around. He is aggressive. He puts flies into tackles, and yeah, he's a good player to watch. Yeah. So guys, keep an eye, uh, eye on that. Yeah. So guys, that was our update for today and we will be waiting for F Fabrizio Romano to keep on to update about uh, what happens between uh, with uh, Ronaldo, a bit, uh, with Manchester United and Manchester City. Uh, George, George Mendes, which is Ronaldo agent, came out and he said uh, he's looking for a club for his player. Yeah, of course, you don't say that publicly, but he has been moving around trying to communicate with Manchester United and Manchester City. To see what suits uh, Ronaldo. So 
guys that's my update for today uh, we'll be waiting on to see what uh, develops because in the transfer market everything can happen yeah, about that so and lastly today uh, we want to talk about Kylian Mbappe Kylian Mbappe uh, who thought uh, in about few uh, few months from now or in about a few days from now that the, the transfer of Kylian Mbappe will be moving so fast Kylian Mbappe has put in a transfer request at Paris Saint-Germain he said he doesn't want to play for Paris any longer and people are slating him because people thought okay you, it is your opportunity you have an opportunity to play with one of the best player in the best player in history which Lionel Messi arguably the best player in history has just come to Paris. Paris have one of the best teams to win the Champions League. And there you go, Kylian Mbappe putting a transfer request. And people are asking, what is wrong with this kid? What is happening? And now people uh, tend to find out. Uh, the pro uh, Mbappe says he wants to be the number one player in the team. Guys, you know, it's, that's not possible when you have Messi, Neymar and, at your team. You have to wait for your turn or if not, you move on to another team. So Mbappe has put in a transfer request that he wants to uh, fulfill his childhood dreams to play for Real Madrid. And do, he's trying to make everything possible. They have given him a renewed contract. That is what... Uh, is it 20... Uh, he was first on 20,000. Uh, no, he was first on 20 million uh, a season. But he doesn't want that. They, uh, they made him uh, an offer that he will be earning the, the same like the big boys in the team. But he didn't want it. So that was when uh, the president of Paris Saint-Germain realized that, okay, Mbappe is not, a, it's not just that he wants to play in Paris. He just wants to move on. So, and he is not shy from saying that he wants to be the number one player. But if you want to be the number one player, you have to earn that on the field because football is a competitive sport. They see what you do on the pitch. So when you have Messi in your team, there's only one player that is going to be the number one. And which is messy so let's keep an eye on that uh how fabrizio romano keeps out to update about that so guys thanks uh see you next time enjoy subscribe talk and put in whatever uh message you want what we uh about what you want us to do next time about the players you want us to talk about we have lots and lots of players that we can talk about to analyze them and what's the game and how what uh, what is going to develop about them in the transfer market but guys see you this busy day so cheers subscribe to my channel ciao